Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to, or move back to, I suppose, problem 3.1. from Gaskell, third edition. And 3.1 really ties uh, the concept of chapter three to the concepts taught in chapter two, because we're looking at the expansion of an ideal gas. And in this problem, you're given an initial pressure, temperature, uh, and uh, molar quantity. So P is equal to 10 atmospheres. Temperature is equal to three hundred K and one mole gas. And from that, you can deduce V is equal to N. Okay, that's a problem. NRT over P, substituting that in, you get 2.46 liters. Okay, now the problem is to determine delta S. And we do this for three different expansions. Okay, so the first is an isothermal expansion. And that isothermal expansion is P going to five atmospheres is isothermal. So it's still 300 Kelvin and V2 is equal to NRT2 over P2 is equal to 8.206 times 10 to the minus two atmosphere liter per Kelvin mole times 300 divided by five. V2 is equal to 4.92 liters. Okay. Well, our delta S is the heat flow divided by the temperature. And because it's isothermal, we know that delta U is equal to zero. Ah. And we also know that W equals Q equals N R T natural log V2 over V1 is equal to N R T natural log P1 over P2. Okay. <clears throat> Substituting in, we get Q is equal to uh, one times 8.314 times 300 times the natural log of 4.92 divided by 2.46. Q is equal to 1728.8. Five joule. So delta S is equal to the numbers in here one seven two eight point eight five divided by three hundred is equal to five point seven six seven, six joule per Kelvin.
Okay, that's the first. The second, or if your book calls these A, B, and C, so B is a reversible adiabatic expansion from P to P2 is equal to 5 ATM. Okay, so the same pressure, but a different path. And if we do this, <clears throat> we know for a reversible adiabatic that P1 V V1 to the gamma is equal to P2 V2 to the gamma, right? We had a little derivation in chapter two showing this. So V2 is equal to, ah, uh, come on, is equal to, this is becoming problematic. So V2, is equal P1 V1 to the gamma over P2 quantity raised to the one over gamma. <clears throat> and T2 is equal to P2 V2 over NR. Well, the book doesn't give this, but all of the problems work from the assumption that for an ideal gas, CV is equal to three halves R, meaning gamma is equal to five thirds. And if that's the case, this gives us V2 is equal to 3.73 liter and T is equal to 227.27 K. Now, we did that and the book didn't give us these values, but do we really need them? Well, we know that Q reversible is equal to zero by definition of adiabatic. Ah, A D I B. You lose, lose uh, the letters when the pen stops writing. adiabatic, and we know Q irreversible is equal to zero. Definition of reversible, which means Q is equal to zero, which means delta S is equal to Q over T is equal to zero. Okay. And lastly, let's go to C, which is a constant volume constant volume uh, expansion from P to P2 is equal to five A atmosphere. I'm kind of hopeful that the problem is not the laptop, but the, the pen is running out of batteries or something. Uh, well, nonetheless, let's see. Uh, cost and volume. So V2 is equal to V
is equal to 2.46 liter. T2 is equal to P2V2 over NR is equal to five times 2.46 over 8.206 times 10 to the minus two atmosphere liter per Kelvin mole, of course, one mole. And that gives us uh, 149.89 K. Okay. So going back to the expression that we, we discussed in uh, part one or problem uh, 3.4, we have delta S is equal to integral N C V over T D T, right? That's because Q V is equal to C D T. Okay. Which means that we can write our temperature changes from 300 to 149.89. And if we use N C V over T D T, and we substitute in our assumption, which seems to be fairly standard in this text, you get N three halves R natural log T evaluated at 349.89, which is, whoop, which is, oh man, is one three halves 8.314 natural log 149.89 minus natural log 300 delta S is equal to is equal to minus eight, come on, six, uh, 8.65 joule joule Kelvin. And, That's it. So uh, different expansions along different paths result in different heat flows and therefore positive zero and negative changes to the entropy.